Good morning. Today is March 6, 2020. And I'm making this video in memory of my late great little brother, John Alfred. So, John Alfred is uh, being laid rest tomorrow in body form, but in spirit. John now has the opportunity to reach across, you know what I'm saying, miles and states, you know what I'm saying, maybe even countries. You know, a lot of people know John, you know what I mean, for his personality, for his athletic ability. He was a he was a good football player. Yet he was a good, you know what I'm saying, a good friend, but he was a great man. And uh, just to share a quick story about John, you know, uh, before I say that, we might, people might feel sad initially thinking about John not being here. But John has such an impact on people that most people don't on, on others because you can think about John not being here and you'll get sad. But I promise you, you'll find a memory of some way, of some sort that'll bring a snicker, a smile, a grin, or maybe even a chuckle to your face. And uh, that was just John, you know what I'm saying? He was a very fun loving individual. And I, it's, I have I have my other brothers in my CU brotherhood that were a lot closer to John, you know, a Matt Ferris, uh, a Boog, Swinton, you know, uh, a lot of them. And and I know y'all know for sure, and this video is really for you guys, you know what I'm saying, for, my, for, for the brothers that was close to him and for the family right but when i was when i was in college and john and john made his his, his way on the scene at campbell uh he would often challenge me during uh off-season lifting and off-season uh, condition and uh we would often race and i felt like he always called me out because he saw something in me he saw he saw a, a, a spark inside of me that he wanted to sharpen himself you know what i'm saying and, and kind of you know and challenge himself to be a better player and I remember one day we were uh, doing winter conditioning with Coach Carter and my legs were dead. I, I ain't had not had nothing left. And he called me out. And most of my friends know that I'm not one to back down from a challenge. And John pushed me, man. I had to reach down deep, like way down deep to try to, you know what I'm saying, to win that race. And uh, now that John is gone, I now, and challenge in a different way, but in the same concept in the way that John challenged himself against me physically. See, now for me, it's a spiritual game. It's about being wholehearted on the inside, you know, and trying your best to be the best version of yourself. Knowing that you'll fall short and that you're not perfect, but you need to pursue giving the best effort to being the best version of yourself by no judgment of others but on your own effort so now that John has finished his race John has given all his effort and done it so well and lived so well and impacted so many people that now I feel challenged to, to do the same until I finish my race. And he's so and he he he's so much better than me. He was su he's such a uh, I feel that he was such a better man than myself that I feel so challenged to now change the way my ending is gonna end and be a better man and be a better spiritual uh, 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 steward on this earth and help as many people as I can and do right by people as best I can, day in and day out, and leaving an impact. That was John Alfred, and I appreciate him. And I hope that he challenged you in some sort of way to be a better person yourself. And if you feel a little bit of guilt inside about what you've done so far, that's okay. The guilt that you feel is because now you know the difference between right and wrong. And the beauty in that is that right now, in this very moment, you can make a decision to say, you know what? I'm gonna change how my ending is gonna end and I'm gonna be the best version of myself. Uh, is kind of ironic, 
but while we were uh, intertwining the CU Brotherhood and playing day in and day out, it was a scripture that was posted above the door before we left out of the double doors to go into the field. Second Timothy, verse four, chapter four, verse seven. I have fought the good fight. I have kept the faith. I have finished the race. John Alfred, you have finished your race and you have fought the good fight. Now it's our turn.